I, as a person, can accept any torment, any pains, any shit you are giving me as a person. But I can never in my life accept the fact that you are going to take away my happiness, my joy, the only reason why I've been called a woman away from me. Queen Naomi cried out to the Oni of Ife as he allegedly took away her son away from the British school where she registered him in Lekki. All right, guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are watching me from another hour, you are watching this video. To my returning subscribers, you guys are the very best, and I love you guys so very much for always stopping by to watch my video. To my first time viewers, you guys are the best, and I cannot love you guys less. All right, guys, Queen Naomi fights Oni of Ife bitterly over which school Tade should attend. Again, Tade is her life, she said. You can never take him from me, Queen Naomi cried out, that even if he, he, he wants to kill her or do anything to her, that he is very free to do it, but he should never ever in his life think of taking away Tade away from him. That Tade Nikawa is the only reason why she smiles, why she is happy. That he only has several wives. He has six other wives out there and he has five female children. Why on earth is he trying to take away the only smile that she has got? The only person that she gives her joy that is the reason why she lives that what has she done wrong to deserve him taking away Tadenikao away from her but according to information the only of Ife sent his men to Tade school to talk to the proprietors of an American school in Lekki where Adenika attends. Now, Queen Naomi was very angry with the school due to the fact that they disclosed everything that she has been hiding from the Oni and that why on earth would they accept the Oni men visiting Tadenika without her consent due to the anger and the annoyance in her guess what she got angry and removed him from that school and took him to another school you understand that fact so the only now became very angry very very mad at her that why on earth would she do that and now decided to send her a message to where he knows she will be any day anytime which is akure that she is he is very hundred percent sure that she will so much she will attend akure church on that faithful day he now sent his men to issue her a message that he is going to change his son's school and that he needs his son back. Now Queen Naomi, who heard the message, became very angry, started crying, screaming to her voice and called Oni of Ife ASAP that, Come on, Oga, what is it that I have done wrong to you that you don't want to see me happy? And immediately the call entered. Oni picked the call because you know now he loves her so very much that he cannot do without her. Him seeing her call alone means a lot to him. He picked the call and was like, okay, madam, how can I help you? And she told him that, Kabi is you. What have I done wrong to see the, receive this message from you? And what have I done wrong that you don't want to ever see me happy? That is it a crime to have married you in the very first place? And the only reasons why I smile, why do you want to take him away from me? <laughs> my people and now the only was like i don't understand is it that you want to claim adenika to yourself or what is it that he is not my son and i don't have rights over him now queen naomi told him that no it's not like that though that she already know that he is the father of her son and that she is not in any competition with him who he was she's going to stay with or he who is going to love or in competition with him that he's not the father of adenikao that the only thing that she is after is the fact that he should leave adenikao for now being the fact that the boy is still a baby and has no rights of his own yet that he should just let the boy to grow up and make his choice instead of them pushing him around like the little child that he is and the KBAC said no that over his dead body 
will Queen Naomi dictate what he would do with his son? That is a son and that he can do anything with him at any time. And now Queen Naomi told him that, please, Sao, I'm not dragging this little boy with you. Just give me that grace, that opportunity to take care of him as a child. That, okay, if you want to carry this child, it's fine. I'm ready to let go. But if only you will tell me the particular person you are going to give my child to, that I am still alive, oh, I am not dead, I am alive. You want to carry my child and give to who? If only you will tell me the person and I am my heart and soul accept the person, then fine, I will allow you take my child. Is it that you want to go and give it to Olori Miriam or Olori Elizabeth or which of the Oloris that you got married to that you so much trust that you want to carry my one and only jewel and go and give to? Tell me. And the KBAC is not having anything to tell her rather than to tell her that, okay, if she so value Adenikao that she should come back to the palace and come and take care of her child and she says she she has left the palace and have left for good and that nothing on this earth that will ever bring her back to the palace that he's just doing all of those things to frustrate her right so that she can come back to the palace that she can take every other thing from him but she coming back to the palace is what she will never do so he shouldn't even bring Adenikao to the very and uh, to this very matter on ground that he should please allow her son to be let peace reign that when the boy grew up he will now have a choice and give them reasons why he chose this over this person that she she is not after drama and she don't want problem and she ended her call that the kbac should allow her to have peace that she has left the palace for peace sake that he shouldn't come and be tormenting her all right guys i have many more gs to tell you guys but before then do not forget to subscribe to gifted gs tv for more interesting gist and informate and do not forget as well to click on notification bell start to be notified every time i drop a new video